Hello, um, I am going to be doing a tutorial here on simple regression um, analysis using Stata. So what, we're, what I'm going to start out by doing is showing you um, kind of the basic relationship that we're going to be looking at. I'm assuming that if you're doing simple regression analysis in Stata, you have a good idea of what an independent variable is, what a dependent variable is, and some of the basic Stata functions. However, I'm going to review them briefly. Um, nevertheless, so what we're looking at here um, with simple regression is we're trying to estimate the effect that some independent variable uh, has on a dependent variable. This is the simple regression equation. And what we're going to be looking at today is the estimated effect that um, a student's socioeconomic status has on their grades in school. Um, so socioeconomic status, or SES, uh, is the independent variable. And we're trying to measure the effect that it has on a student's academic achievement, um, their grades. So I'm going to pull up Stata. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you love Stata like I do. Um, so what we're going to start out with here is, let me erase this. Um, you can see that I have been playing around here. I just want, um, and, and I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm assuming that, that at this point you know what it means to open a log file, how to open your data set, um, and if you don't know those things, if you don't know what all this is, I would suggest uh, looking at some other videos that are available on basic um, functions using Stata. So we're looking at this relationship of socioeconomic status on grades. What I've already done, this, I've I tabulated socioeconomic status and it went from around negative two. These are all of the values. It's a continuous variable, so we have a lot of values here, as you are well aware. And, okay, we're getting close to the end. Okay, we got to the end. Um, so the highest value is 2.56. And then you see this 99.999. Um, that means that that data is likely missing. Uh, it was skipped on the survey. Um, uh, the respondent didn't answer. Whatever the case may be, it's missing data. It's going to mess up our analysis. So I recoded it. Um, zero means the um, its label is missing, and it was taken out of the data that we're going to analyze. Our dependent variable uh, by grads here um, is a grade composite score going from 0.5 to 4. And you see yet again 9.8 and 9.9 .9 are going to mess up our analysis. They are missing values so I recoded them and got rid of them. So now after getting rid of them you see here the data is nice and clean and stops at four. So uh, this is this grade composite score is a GPA, I'm assuming. Um, and it's a good idea to explore your data before starting uh, regression um, and trying to do make models with it. It's a good idea to uh, do the describe command, the summarize command, the tabulate command just to get a good idea of what you're looking at. And it's also a good idea to know where your data comes from. This one, um, you can see it, it comes from the National Education uh, Longitudinal Survey. Um, and I, I see here that BY is base year. So because it's a longitudinal survey, um, it's measured over many years and both of my variables are from the base year so the first year that it was measured and that's a good idea um, to get an idea of your data and, and really um, know what you're looking at before you try to perform regression analysis. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first start off by looking at the correlation between my two um, variables of interest. So I'm going to do correlate my dependent variable and then my independent variable. Enter. Now it doesn't matter. Please ignore all of this up here. Um, it doesn't matter, and this, uh, we're just looking right here. <laughs> Um, it doesn't matter what order uh, you use uh, with correlate because as we all know correlation doesn't imply does not imply causation so you can put the independent variable or the dependent variable first it doesn't matter it's still going to give us this value and this value is telling us the strength and direction of the relationship between the two variables so as we can see um, 0.32, I guess we can say that, you know, this is a good, I guess, entrance examination on moving on to the linear regression analysis. And because uh, th th this measure, correlation measures, um, is measured anywhere from negative 1 to 1, so 0.32 shows that there's definitely a relationship worth exploring here. So, um, what this tells us is that it appears that as a student's um, family socioeconomic status goes up, their grade composite score goes up as well. But we want to look at that relationship in more detail here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in regress and I'm going to type in my dependent variable, which is the grade composite score, and my independent variable, which is SES. And here we go. Um, the first thing I want to look at here is the R squared value. So what the R squared value is telling us, um, and let me read you off the definition. Uh, it's the proportion of the total variation in a dependent variable explained by an independent variable. So in our example here, what it's telling us is how well socioeconomic status is explaining all of the variation from 0.5 to 4 in grade composite score. How well is socioeconomic status is doing in explaining this great variation in um, the composite score and point, uh, 0.1064 is not very strong and I'll explain why we didn't get a very good um, R squared value here in a minute um, and, and what this tells us is that we need to probably look at other variables that um, just knowing some a student's socioeconomic score is not going to be a perfect um, predictor of what their um, grade composite score is. The most important thing here that we want to look at is this value right here. This is the most important thing, the 0 0.3045. And what that's telling us is, all right, this value right here is the beta 1 value right there. Okay, So what it's telling us is for every one unit increase in socioeconomic status we would predict a 0 0.3045 increase in the grade composite score, the GPA. So that's, you know, I, I think that when, when, when you're looking at that, um, it's interesting, okay? So it means that w with our prediction ver with our prediction equation, if I move from having a uh, SES of one to an SES of two, I could expect my GPA to go up um, 0.3. and and, Yet again, if we go back here and we're looking at the grade composite, um, it seems so. It, you know, a 2.5 to 2.8. So, so 
interpret that the way you want to. However, it, it, there is definitely a relationship, and we can see that with the p-value here. Now, now I, I need to be careful with my wording, but what the p-value is telling us is that this is significant, that the relationship between grade and socioeconomic status is significant, which means that socioeconomic status has some prediction value to grade, that knowing someone's socioeconomic status does allow us to make a prediction on what kind of grades um, they are getting in school. Now, as far as putting this within this equation here, putting our simple regression analysis from Stata into that equation, this constant score of 3.004 corresponds to this value right here, the alpha, and that's basically our constant, so that tells us that if a student has a SES of zero, you could expect a grade composite score of three. And then this value right here, as I said, the 0 .3045, which is the most important value we want to look at, uh, shows us, and it's going to go right here, so if I have a one unit increase in socioeconomic status, I can expect, as I said, a 0 .3405 increase in grade composite score. Now, I want to say a few things here. And, and for one, the socioeconomic score goes from negative two to two. So there's not a lot of variation in that. And an increase from a one unit increase in socioeconomic score is a big jump. So, in the grand scheme of things, um, a one unit increase in socioeconomic status could mean thousands of dollars. So, we have to be careful, even if it is significant here, um, that we that there's a lot of things to look at. And, and there's a lot more variables that we need to look at and the R squared value reflects that. Now if we used an, another variable say income instead of socioeconomic score um, then there might be a stronger R squared value uh, the coefficient might be greater we might expect um, better predictive value of our model because um, of uh, the because there are more values to look at rather than just a move from negative two to essentially 2.5 um, so, so that's something to keep in mind uh, now this 95% uh, confidence interval it's telling us that because zero is not within this 95% confidence interval when we're looking at this it means that we are pretty confident that um, socioeconomic status is related to the students grades so I, I hope that this tutorial is helpful um, I'm still learning this uh, hopefully along with you so um, I hope you were able to take something away from this and um, best of luck uh, in performing simple regression in Stata.